Okay, so I made uh, the 8-bit dough uh, SF30 Pro uh, work on iOS again, as you guys know. It lost support for iOS a little while ago. But uh, the iOS 12 jailbreak just came out, and a jailbreak tweak is compatible with uh, iOS 12, or A12 devices, excuse me. And uh, that's called end control, and that brought back support. So what I did was, is because you can't just normally turn it on and go over to the Bluetooth and connect it because it's not you know compatible that way. Only the, um, the this controller that I have, this one is MFI compatible, but not this one anymore. But a little trick, if you turn it on, hold on, let me actually disconnect it from here. Let's forget the device so we can start over. Okay, so we go to end control. And then what you're gonna do is hold um, hold start and B at the same time. And that's what's gonna turn it into Mac iOS mode and it's gonna have the three linking dots. Then you're gonna go over to, you know, like I guess they named it PS4 DualShock. But um, originally it's gonna say wireless controller, just wireless controller. And you click on it and click the share button and then click connect and then you're gonna feel it vibrate and now it's as you can see number one and then I'm gonna test it in a video game and then I'm gonna go to the settings as well to show you guys it's connected that's why let's control it in settings now so now I'm gonna try and play some Sonic It works. Surreal. I'm excited. I knew there was a way to get back. Sega! Just gonna show a quick demonstration. Thank you guys for watching.